Greetings everyone, in today's video, we're diving into types of functions. Python functions are classified into two main categories. Built-in functions and user-defined functions. Built-in functions are already included in Python and can be used immediately. But the user-defined functions are defined by users based on their specific requirements. Let's talk more about this. First, let's discuss built-in functions. In built-in functions, we may easily access functions that are pre-integrated into the Python programming language. Some examples of built-in functions include the ones we have been using, such as print, input, evil, etc. You can check this table, which gives descriptions and examples of built-in functions. Okay, so we can go on to the user-defined function now. User-defined functions are custom functions created by users to perform specific tasks within a program. When we use functions provided by others in the form of a library, these are referred to as library functions. Essentially, any function that we write ourselves for our use or others falls under the category of user-defined functions. Alright, let's create a program to understand user-defined function. First, we need to define the function known as my underscore addition. Here, this function takes two parameters x and y, which represent the numbers to be added. Then, we can give a documentation string as the first line of the function, which is optional. It explains what the function does. Now, you can see inside the function, the code adds the two arguments together using the plus operator. The result of the addition is stored in a variable called result. The return statement returns the value of the variable result. This means that the function will return the sum of the two numbers that were passed to it. OK, so now after defining the function, the code prompts the user to enter a number using input function. This input function captures what the user types and returns it as a string. The float function converts the string input from the user to a floating point number. Similarly, num2 stores the second number entered by the user after another prompt. So finally it prints the sum is, and then adds the result of calling my underscore addition with num1 and num2 to the end, creating the final output. OK, so we can now execute the program. Initially, we can input our first number. We can then input our second number. You may now view the output here. Thank you. 